And rolling. We looked around the table when we started talking about what project we wanted to do and realized that we had a wide array of talents that lived within the group that, uh, that we had created. And from the, from the beginning we wanted to create something that utilized each one of those talents. Um, we had a dancer in the group, a musician, uh, several musicians, um, videographers, editors, and uh, encoders for, for Max that, uh, that all of us could come together and make something that was pretty impressive. So this first generation of uh, the producer's project um, used the dancing skills of Eleanor in our group and uh, filmed her in a silhouette uh, style that allowed us to projection map uh, different aspects of her body onto different parts of a, a foam structure that we created. We decided that um, in addition to all of us being used, that the user uh, being able to interact with the system would be able to control the elements that were within it. Once those were filmed, then we brought them in, uh, converted them uh, into a file format that Max will use and uh, began to build a max patch that uh, allowed the motion tracking of the uh, utilizing the built-in camera in a MacBook Pro or an iMac or anything with a webcam where the, uh, an image can be captured in real time with video and through frame differencing and uh, subtracting the difference there you were able to you're able to tell how much the user actually moved We then pipe that into the tempo or the rate of the playback of the videos, both for the um, the dancers and the design elements that were created by another member of our group. We had a graphic designer in our group as well. If the user does not move at all, the dancer and the graphics don't move. If the user moves slowly, uh, the dancer uh, dances slowly. We then put that on what's called a stage. We made a stage that uh, was large enough to be able to take snippets out of it for the projection mapping. Uh, that stage uh, uses a, a component called Siphon that brings that into Mad Mapper. Uh, Mad Mapper is a program that basically makes it possible to take the corners very easily of cropped out video and make, uh, make the projection mapping surfaces that you wish to create. So after the stage was created in Max, we took all that into Mad Mapper and chose the, the different sections of video and graphics that we wanted to show on our, on our foam structure. So uh, each corner is meticulously mapped to the very corner of the, of the foam structure on, the sur on just the surface that we wanted to show. And then it doesn't, uh, it doesn't bleed over and you don't see any of the shadows or, or spill behind. Very happy with the way it turned out. We look forward to taking it to the next level uh, to be able to control the music as well. Uh, then the the user will truly be a conductor because they will be conducting the music and the dance.